Welcome back to this new Pizza Direct tutorial and today we want to create an abstract sci-fi tunnel with geometry nodes. So let's jump right in. Here we are on a fresh blender scene and our rust is already in the scene. We want to delete here the cube and add a new mesh and a plane, which is our floor today. Um, let's press N to get here these options. And then we want to change the scale to 50 by 50. Then we can go ahead and create a new mesh, which will be uh, the GN uh, structure for today. And structure. And yeah, let's go into the geometry nodes and we want to create a new one. GN structure. We want to use today uh, something different. So let's cut here this input to group output. And we need to search for a spiral, curve spiral. And we want to put the whole stuff on uh, some points. So instance on points and we want to use some cubes. So uh, let's create a cube. And uh, let's stick this stuff together. Uh, instance to geometry, curve to points, and cube to instance. And uh, we want to create a tunnel thing, so um, we have to rotate this one. So let's search here for transform. Put this here in the upper part, and let's rotate this into the X rotation to 90 degrees. And yeah, let's head into the spiral settings um, and we can change here some stuff. Maybe let's zoom a little bit out. And now we can change here the rotations uh, to six. Let's leave the resolution to 32. And we want to go with the um, start, start radius of 10 and radius of 10. And the height should be minus 100. Now we have a cool spiral here. Um, yeah, let's hit into the uh, cube settings and I want to change uh, this cube to something like x3, uh, 3 in the x, <laughs> 10.6 in the y and 3 in the 6. Yeah, we can make this a little bit cooler when we are uh, mirroring, mirror, <laughs> the stuff together and we can easily do this um, by search for a join geometry node and then we have to search for a transform node and put this here uh, to the bottom and we want to link here the instance on points to the transition uh, to the transform and this one into the join geometry and then we can easily scale this here into the minus one so we have here um, some yeah some mirrored stuff going on yeah and after that let's um play here uh, with the settings so it looks a little bit more interesting so we can go here into the uh, instance of points and let's change the rotation to that's my settings so you can always play with the settings as you like so uh, let's go ahead uh, with 58.8 I like to go with uh, 187 and with a Z value of 7.7. .7. And now the whole construct uh, construct looks a little bit more interesting. Yeah, to get a little bit more detail, uh, we have to duplicate these two nodes, the cube and the instance on points. Let's uh, select them, shift D. And then we can yeah, link here um, the transform, make a link here, uh, shift and yeah, shift and the right mouse button. And then <clears throat> we can link here this one into our duplicated instance on points. Uh, we can keep here this cube. And then we have to um, make another um, yeah, join geometry. Uh, so let's search here for join geometry and bring this here in front and yeah uh, we have to uh, change here these connections 
and that is looking better now we have to bring this here into the geometry nothing happens uh, because we have to make here some changes in the second cube let's go with 2.1 9.2 and 3.7 to fill out here the whole scene and uh, we can easily go and make some other transforms here so we need a, a new we need a new join geometry node and put this here together and then uh, we need another transform so let's put this one here together and uh, same thing again but now we want to offset this 27 by 9 by 9 and then we want to duplicate this here again this transform and put this here into the join geometry we only have to change this uh, 27 to minus 27 so for some more detail i want to create a little edge here and to use the bevel modifier um, first we have to uh, add here uh, after the join geometry um, realize instance realize instance with this one now we can see that here our uh, some bevel is going on and i want to go with a amount of 0 0.05 it's always good to have some edges because when we are adding some lights um, we can see here these lights on the edges and that's really cool and the last thing is now we have to set a material which we want to set up later and yeah that is here now our construction yeah and to make this a little bit more cooler <laughs> uh, maybe oh, let's render this here i think that it looks uh, cool as well here in this mode but yeah we can improve this yeah, we want to make um, yeah, some some neon edges here for this construction and to do this we have to duplicate this one by pressing shift and d and let's rename this uh, structure thing here to um, edge and we have to duplicate the geometry uh, nodes here as well so press on this button and then we can rename this to edge. Yeah, what we have to do now is um, we can add here, we can uh, delete here the bevel. And maybe let's delete or let's hide this one. And we want to go uh, with a, a wireframe. And yeah, to... Um, now let's make let's make uh, the wireframes here maybe let's change here the thickness of the wireframe mode to uh, 0 0.01 it's a little bit thinner and every we can leave everything like it is but here in the geometry nodes uh, we have to make some changes so let's put here the realize instance stuff here to the front and yeah we want to go with a um, delete geometry palm <laughs> everything is deleted and we can leave all the stuff to point and all but we want to go with the selection and search here for a random value yeah and leave the boolean like it is and i want to change the probability to point three nine two yeah when you're pressing the m button and um, everything will go through this node so the node will know has no effect then um yeah let's enable this one and maybe <clears throat> we can uh, make it here a new material which is uh, some kind of neon stuff, maybe. Uh, yeah, the only thing I want to change this here to something bluish. 
here right now and i want to go with 25 and then we can add this here to um the material and then let's jump right in here and now when we're losing uh these uh node um these neon lines will not uh, be everywhere so we have a little bit more ascent here in in <laughs> in these um, cubes let's create the other material for the rest of the scene so let's go here into the shading and I want to create a new material for our structure, but nothing will happen because uh, we have to select this. So first let's create this one. Um, this, yeah, it's a black material, uh, black with a little bit of roughness. I want to go here with a point seven. Yeah, let's jump back here into the geometry nodes and we can use this now and as we can see we have here some black stuff going on but um yeah for more effects let's go here into the ambient to the ev settings and we can enable here the ambient occlusion bloom and a screen space reflection as well so that's looking better maybe let's add the same black material here now to the floor to improve the whole stuff now yeah we can first change here the environment color which is obviously here gray to a black one so um yeah we have only black reflections here now yeah to improve the whole uh, reflection stuff we can do several things to improve the uh, reflections here now um, we can go back here into the screen space reflections and um, make some changes and i don't want to have some half rest trace uh, that's uh, is a little better and then we can enable here or increase the trace precision i like to improve uh, increase the maximum roughness and edge fading off so that's looking a little bit better but we can do more um, Today I want to uh, use here um, a reflection cube map and in this reflection cube map uh, we can do uh, some changes here. So let's go into the settings and I want to go with the box and I want to create a size uh, of 25, uh, zero fall off and yeah we can leave everything like it is and now we want to go here into the um, ev settings and go to indirect lightning and when we are here um, we can change here now um, the resolution of um, the reflection when we are um, baking it now the cube map we can see that we have here some reflections going on but um, yeah, they look a little bit weak. So uh, we can improve this resolution by deleting here the light cache and improve uh, the cube map size to yeah, 1048. And uh, that's a little bit longer, but you can see that we are having here now some better reflections uh, going on yeah and to make more improvements we can uh, use a reflection plane as always uh, we want to change this scale here to 50 by 50 by 50 uh, let's go into the settings viewport display show preview plane maybe let's go here into material settings and yeah let's change here the distance a little bit we don't want to have a fall off we have to go back into the render mode and then when we are pressing G and Z, um, then we can see when we're putting up this plane that we're having here some cool reflections. Let's uh, let's hide here now the show preview plane. And now we can see that the reflections are more better. Now it's time for our camera let's uh, make here some changes let's go here with a uh, yeah let's jump here into the camera view 
and select the camera and now we want to change the location to zero minus four 5.41 one. we want to go with 90 zero and zero and i want to make a four i want to change the focal length to 15 and we want to make a camera shift in the y to 0.1 now we can go ahead and improve this adding some lights i want to add here or or use the first light which is um, an orange orange light maybe let's use this one here of the scene and um, of the starting scene and now let's change the coordinates to uh, zero um one point nine <laughs> four and five and six point ninety six this should be an area light and i want to go with uh, 117 in uh, the x zero and zero and let's uh, make here some changes um the area light should be some orangey light here in our scene and i want to go really high let's go here with 100 000. and we want to go with a rectangle and change the size to 17 17.6 uh, by 14 uh, let's make a custom distance of 15 yeah maybe uh, let's go ahead here now and change uh, at here another light so let's rename this one here orange and i want to add another light which will be here now point light but this point light uh, should be a little bit more bluish. And let's increase this one here to 10,000. Yeah, let's enable here the contact shadows, but we can leave everything like it is, uh, except the, uh, <laughs> the uh, coordinates. So let's go here with the six and the Y and six and the X. So we're having here these cool um, points here now on our um, structure and i want to uh, go and add another light which is only for our rust here and bring this here back to the orangey and i think we can uh, we only have to uh, change here the custom distance to five and I want to go with a uh, one by three by two. So our rust is a little bit here. some rim lights on. And now let's change here this light to the other side. And now we're having here some rim lights on our rust. And that is basically um, the scene. Uh, one thing uh, what I forget is when we are here uh, we can go here into the geometry node structures and change here um, the seed of uh, the random value. When we are playing here with these points, we can um, see that we are can select um, different uh, edges here. And uh, for me, yeah, I like to go here with a seven, but um, yeah, feel free to play around with these settings. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me check out my Blender Market and Gumroad page. See you there. Bye.